Welcome back to Wargore TV in episode 46. Crazy. 46. Woo! Fantastic. 46. 46. As always, I'd just like to say a big hello to any new people who are tuning in. And um, and thank you to everybody coming back who's already seen us. Uh, thank you very much also to our sponsors. I'd like to say uh, thanks very much to Firestorm Games. And I'd like to say thank you very much to Pro Painted Studios, who give us a lovely little discount code, which is just along the bottom of the screen now as well. And a huge shout out to Warshop. Warbay.shop, mm -hmm. which they are fantastic. They are built by gamers for gamers. For so you can get on there, you can sell your stuff. Why would you ever do that? But anyway, if you wanted to, if you're in, you know, lunatics. Um, lunatics, lunatics. Be crazy people out there, you might do it. But you might want to sell something, and also on there, you might want to buy some other piece of people's stuff. So mm. that's fantastic. So yeah, have a look on there on warbay.shop. Okay. But of course, all this wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for my patrons. And I'd just like to say a big thank you. As always, I'd like to do a huge bow. Thank you very much to the master, Mr. Sean Ricketts. And I'd like to say a huge salute to our hardened warriors. One of them standing right here, Mr. Ben McDougall. Come uh, join me. Come join him, join him. And join also Adam Rawson, mm. Stu West, Andy Curry, and Wayne Gummer, and Tim McFall, and David Bishop Miller. Ooh. Thank you very much. And of course, a cheeky wink to the local militia of Adam Maiden, Jack Maiden, Paul Haley, Ben Cronin, and Jane Slater. Thank you very much, guys and girls. Without you, we would be nothing. So, tonight. Tonight. Tonight's the night. Oh, oh it's getting exciting. It's getting juicy. It is. So, wh who are we playing with? Who am I playing with? Yeah. I'm going to play with Skaven. Skaven. <gasps> squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak time. Squeak, squeak. Okay, and yeah. up against the Skaven, I'm going to be using the... Gargans. Ooh. I'm gonna go Sons of Bearmen. Yeah, that's Ooh. right. Yeah, so it's gonna be little guys get squished by big guys. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it is. But why don't we take a quick look at the battle plan that we're gonna be using? Mm. Above us now, you can see we're gonna be playing Geomantic Pulse. Mm. Mm. Whoop, 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 whoop. So we've got one, two, three, four objectives mm. across the center of the board. Um, our deployments are, as we can see, oh, yeah. um, 11 inches in and full width of the long board edge. Nice and far apart. Nice and far apart, yes. yeah, that's right, that's what we like. But the little trick with this one, you score one point if you control an objective. Yeah. You scroll, scroll, scroll? Scroll. Score, score, score even. <laughs> Two points if you um, control the pulse. Mm -hmm. So we better quickly mention the pulse. Yes. The pulse is going to get chosen by the player who goes second, and they will choose whether it goes from, it pulses from A through to B, or B through to A. Yeah, start the second battle round. Start the second battle round, yeah. it'll start changing. So you'll choose, or I'll choose, yeah. and then we'll see how it goes. And yeah. it'll go left to right. Because then at that point, you also score an additional point if you control the objective next. basically next to the yeah. pulse, isn't yeah. it? It's adjacent, but it's next to the pulse. So in round sort of three, four, when the pulse doesn't matter which way it goes, is in the center of the board. Yeah. There's some high points to score if you can yeah. get on either side and yeah, control them. You yeah. can really sort of race away with it. Um, and then, of course, the normal thing, two points for your battle tactic. Yeah. So, but I think in, yeah, is it rounds three and four, you could potentially get six or seven points? Yeah, Cause you, there's a lot. Yeah, because you could you be... Two, one, one. Well, you get, yeah, two for the one. pulse. One on either side would be four. One for controlling one, which would be five. Yeah. And then your battle tactic would take you to seven. Yeah. So quite a lot going oh, on there yeah. oh yeah that's, that's a lot yeah, that's, that's big seven so, points uh, yeah yeah seven points yeah those kind of key moments so this could mm, see how it spikes away I brought so, rats <laughs> yeah <laughs> and I, I've only got yeah. four models so yeah, <laughs> it's good. yeah we'll oh, see big ones <laughs> yeah big ones we can't be everywhere so uh, speaking of which let's go have a look at those armies so why don't you take me through the uh, the Skaven army then Skaven yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so we have a general good Good yeah, stuff. A vermin lord deceiver. Mm. Mm. His spell will be flame and weapon. Nice. Did I mention he's a general? Because he's the big one. He's the big one. He's the big rat. Yeah. Big rat. Okay. Uh, so his artifact of power will be the shadow magnet trinket. Sounds tasty. What's that? So he's going to give me first strike. Mm. Once per battle. Mm. Once per battle. Okay. Yeah. Right. So you could charge me and I'll, I'll get yeah. you. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, stab, stab. <laughs> um, command trait is going to be devious adversary. Of course. Yeah. Standard take. 
Um, and then we've got two little bloop, bloop, hero guys. Okay. Little rats, walk engineers. Mm -hmm. One of them has <laughs> merciless blizzard. Beautiful. Because sneak sneak. Why not? You never know. Yeah, that's a bit of primal dice. And the yeah. other one is going to be more, more, more warp power. So two spells for two little guys. Mm -hmm. Then we have 20 coin rats. Excellent. 20 coin rats. Excellent. And then what would be your third battle line then? Uh, well, it's it's just nine storm fiends. What? Nine storm fiends. <coughs> I mean, nine? Yeah. Nine storm fiends? Yeah. That's 57 wounds. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So yeah, in, in them storm fiends, I've got three rattling cannons, uh, three shot gauntlets, and then three of the wind launchers. Yes. The ones that don't need line of sight. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And yeah. Then, and then a little, got, little helper to get them yeah, out of the ground. Yeah, yeah, a little warp grinder. So they'll be popping up wherever they need to be. Which would be nice. Very nice. And of course, rounded off by a lovely... Well, I think... Yeah. <laughs> squish, squish. Squish, squish, bang, bang. Hopefully, squish and bang, and not just squish. All right, then. All right. Then. Or Fair no enough. bang, and then I squish. Because <laughs> that can happen. Yeah, that can easily happen. Of course, you've got your three gnar holes as well. So yeah. So that'll be going on. And you're a one-drop battle regiment. Yeah. 1940 points. So you get the triumph, then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. What are you, you going are, for? Oh, well, I'm going for the... Indomitable plus one to wound. Plus one inspired. Ah, that's that the was one. the one. Yeah. But the plus one to wound. Yeah, yeah I don't care if the car no run away. Okay, so that's the Skaven army. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the Sons of Bayonet list. Well, it's going to be um, 2,000 points on the nose. Hence, you're getting the, the, uh, the drop on the nose, son. Yeah. On the nose, big bosh. And I've made it nice and simple because we use big and stupid. Yeah. So I have made it not one, not two, not three, but four. Four? Gatebreakers. 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 Yes, Whoa. that's right. They lowered the points. They made them five hundred points each, and I couldn't resist. Ooh. I really couldn't resist. I was like, "Oh yeah." Then what I'm going to do with that? I took the one. I took the two. I took the three. I took the four, and I put them all into bosses of the stomp. Boss. So it makes us into a one drop, oh. and we get to take an extra artifact now as well. I know. And what are you taking? Ooh. Well, what I did, I Ooh. spread the bet. Ooh. So what I thought was. On um, on on the big general, mm -hmm. you know, on the big man himself, yeah. um, I I made him monstrously tough. So he's Ooh. got that. He's got that command. So he's got an extra five wounds. So he's got forty wounds. Ooh, okay, that's big. That's it. <clears throat> Whereas Burgon, I made him a wizard. I gave him arcane tome. I thought, what the heck? Let's let's, let's do it. A big big, big whiz whiz. Thirty five <laughs> wound whiz whiz <laughs> whiz, uh, whiz whiz. And then for final, just a little. Oh, little icing on the cake um, with the Dark Destroyer. I oh. gave him the calloused feet. The calloused feet. Yeah. yeah. So basically, effectively, makes his um, makes minus three rend on his feet attacks on the stomp attacks and uh, with flat three damage on each one. So that's quite nice. We'll see how that works out. But that leaves me a two thousand on the nose. Obviously, that gave you the triumph as we discussed before. But I won the roll off. Yeah. So I'm going to decide whether I'm going to go first or second. And I'll be honest, dear viewers, I think I'm going to take it before I get shot off. All right. So, yeah. So join me after my turn one. Welcome, Sons of Bayonet, turn one. Well, there wasn't really a lot to go on about, really. This was more a, a, a just a feeling it out turn, because the pulse doesn't start until round two. So I was just getting myself into position, thought I'd go for a nice easy one whilst I was miles away from the Skaven magic, uh, and Burgon said, I will um, cast... Uh, magical dominance. I will cast a spell for um, for our battle tactic. So yes, went for battle tactic number four, and uh, Burgon standing next to the arcane with his plus one, managed to roll a double four. We're not within an unbind range, so we cast mystical shield. Popped it up onto his general. 
we popped it up onto him. Um, and then we thought, well, before that, we'd found out if we had any primal dice. And of course, yeah. I rolled a four and Ben rolled a four. Yeah. So we both have two primal dice sitting in the bank just in case we need them for this turn. Um, command points wise, um, Fury, he got a command point. He used his to put his into an auto run into a flat flat six move so he went whoop, 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 move right across there taking that objective meanwhile the dark destroyer just slowly ambled forward just clipped the objective just waiting his turn and um and the old big man himself just just stood back out of 27 inches worth of warp lightning because we didn't feel like we wanted that turn one so we can't do any more than score a objective for one point that's what we did we got the battle tactic to cast a spell which hadn't been unbound did that tick gives us the three points the maximum we can get and uh well now we'll see what rat turn one does squeak squeak <laughs> Skaven, turn one. Squeak, squeak. Uh, we went for magical dominance, same as what Adam just did. So we need to cast a spell and have it not unbound, which we did. Aha, quite tricksy. Adam's wizard, big whiz whiz, was more than 30 inches away. I was like, all right, okay. And I measured up everywhere else and I was like, ah, I could heroic action make one a whiz whiz. So I was like, um and iron, um and iron. So I went for that one. Adam made the Dark Destroyer a whiz whiz with the heroic action. And then over here, I got one of the little warg engineers to cast Mystic Shield onto these coin rats. Battle tactic achieved. Now, <laughs> me and Adam both had four primal dice each. Oh, we didn't touch them. Didn't touch them. <laughs> the, most, the most either of us have ever had. <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> and just went, mm, I'll cast a spell now. Yeah, we do. don't need yeah, them. Yeah, I don't need them. That's fine. Could have. Could have kept casting, but there's always a risk. Um, other than that, these quan rats that were here just ran up, got me this objective. These quan rats were very indecisive. Some started running that way, some ran that way. So I do hold this with one puny guy, but they couldn't make their mind up. Um, what iron and kind of moved up? The walk engineers huddled with these trying to blend in. Um, this little guy jumped over here, and then I had to shoot the walk lightning cannon into no, this into guy. fury. And I got a one on my roll for power, so therefore, instant oh, six, model, six wounds. model wounds. Ouch! So good. 29 to go. So good. So, yeah, it was um, that was the turn. Score three as well, and now we have a roll off. Roll off. Here we go. Skaven with you the white dice. You all got TV dice, dice rolling. Yeah. I'm on red. You're on white. Here we go. What got TV? I got one. No six. Ah, no way. So I you, don't know. What, are you going to take it or not? Because then it decides on who's going to get choose the pulse. Yeah. It's going to be. I think I'm going to give it to you. Because oh. I, I think I want to decide the pulse. So, where are you going to put the pulse then? The pulse is going to start here. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, turn two. We know the pulse. Ben gave it to me. Big gargants, we don't understand what's going on. Why, why the squishy things give us the turn, but mm, quite wily, we think. So we went for surround and destroy. 
That's what we thought. This would be the time to do that now. Um, so we would have three different units on three different board edges within six inches of, uh, of that board. So we went to choose Bergon would look after this board edge. The Dark Destroyer would look after that one. And Fury would look after that one. Battle tactic achieved. We, yes again, rolled really well on our primal dice for me and Ben. So we had two each. Mm -hmm. um, I went Mystic Shield, popped primal dice in just to make sure. But I had that on Burgon. So he got the Mystic Shield off. Ben, that, well, I won't go through. He's saving things for, for later, shink, I feel. Because um, I was a bit further back... Um, big boy, he, um, uh, good old Joe Tech, he, he needed to get really to this objective, right? He could have easily gone here and gone attacking there, but this one's worth more to me because it's next door to the pulse. So rather than coming up here and failing a charge, I thought, what the heck, I'll, I'll just use a command point. I'll pop in a run, I'll cap the objective. It's not really ideal, but at least I'm getting points on the board. So in that one, there wasn't really a lot to sing about. Um, tried to throw a rock from here into the rats, missed. Threw a rock from here though, into these rats, killed four. Three of them though, grew back. What's all that about? Woohoo! So they, they grew back. Um, and obviously uh, Ben used a, a command point to make sure they don't run away. Um, other than that then, although not a lot really happened killing wise, I managed to score six points because I got the pulse, which is worth two. I got the one next to the pulse, which scores me an additional one. I control an objective, so that gets me a point, and uh, which took me to four, and I got the battle tactic. Takes me to six, so nine plays three at the moment. Feels unnervingly okay, but I know there's a long way to go yet, so we'll see how Ben goes on in turn two. Gaven turn two. Um, yeah, spicy. We went intimidating tactic, so have more outs, more units outside of my deployment than in. Um, and yeah, primal dice. We got a primal dice this turn, didn't we? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I had two. Adam had the one. Uh, spells. I went for Mystic Shield here. Whoop, whoop, onto these Conrads. Squeak, squeak. And got it. Over here, my Vermin Lord Deceiver, we got Flaming Weapon and Dreaded Skilly. So he jumped over to there with Flaming Weapon on. Nice and juicy. Uh, these Quan Rats just shuffled onto this objective a little bit more, just kind of rounding this off. These Quan Rats made a nice little line here. The Storm Fiends came up. There was a thunder from the ground. <laughs> yeah, it, was, <laughs> like... it was very nice. This has come off. Um, yeah, shooting all of these guys shot into this one. Into Jotek. And he has. And he has taken a lot of damage. Yeah. He has taken 22 wounds from that. It's not, it's not as good as I was hoping for. Because. I was, I was expecting more of a punch. Because right there. Yeah, my Warp Lightning Cannon blew up. <laughs> I was like, huh. I could kill him right now. It's time to overcharge, yes, yes. Overcharge. Roll a five. Ah, that's not good. No fives I rolled. Three ones and then D3 each. Cause that's when I roll all the fives and the sixes. So yeah, my own Walt Whitening Cannon shot itself. Not fun, but hey ho, Skaven, squeak, squeak. Um, so yeah, I was hoping for more damage out of these. I got the warp stone spark off them to get the plus one damage. But yeah, it's just so many wounds. Anything else, it'd be dead. dead. But a Gargan, oh, a little bit harder to shoot. Um, and then over here, we shot, did a couple of wounds, not much. Charged, I went for Titanic Jewel, and Adam went for... I'll grapple you and threw you over my shoulder. Yeah, just <laughs> RKO'd me out of nowhere. I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> so I was on the objective. 
which I wasn't too fussed about. It was just kind of annoy Adam. And then he just flipped me over there. <laughs> and now I've only got one wound left. I'm a little bit um a little bit dazed. <laughs> yeah, not, I'm not sure what's going on. Dazed and confused. But we're holding the middle and we are hoping for a double turn because I only scored three points. So I'm trailing three. Because it took me to six. Okay. Let's find out. Let's see if I can win one that Ben doesn't have to give me the turn. Wargo TV! Five, four, oh. six, two. Oh! So well. what was that, Adam? Are you going to give it to, to me? No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? What have I squeak, done? Squeak, squeak! <laughs> Very glad I took that turn because I felt it swung that pendulum. That pendulum was swinging then at that point. I think we were both all in. It feels really weird with this scenario already. You, it's like gentle, gentle, woof. Um, and that's what it was. Uh, we, I went for the battle tactic of lead into the maelstrom. So I needed uh, a hero and a battle line to charge a unit and also to be within three inches of something at the end of the turn after I'd done that. Um, so I actually thought this would be quite easy to do, but then I rolled really well uh, and it nearly, nearly didn't go so well. Um, so my idea was um, I got started off that was, a, uh, the, that was the battle tactic. So then we went for an arcane bolt with Burke on here. Uh, we cast well, we got a six and a five, and I thought, what the heck? Let's put a, a primal dice in. In goes a primal dice, in goes another six, boom. It's irresistible force, first one I've done. Goes all the way through, and me and Ben both get a new primal dice. Um, good start. Uh, then we did a little bit of movement, we we'll thought, We'll move Joe Take up, just stumble up close to the clan rats, uh, knowing that if we can charge them, we can still reach the uh, storm fiends. Meanwhile, Burgon runs up. There was a slight redeployment by the rats to try and block us out. It didn't quite work. Fury moves up, and with a re-rollable charge, he manages to get in. These two get in, and just before we'd even got to that, uh, the Dark Destroyer threw a big rock on the big rat's head and down he fell. Squeak, squeak. Before we'd even gone in, these boys really know how to throw rocks and put 12 wounds into the storm fiends, which already wiped two of the nine out down to seven. And then with bashing and smashing and crashing, Jotek, even though wounded, made an absolute beast of himself. I think he like hacked down Oh, so a good many. two, three. It felt like he was, he was having a whale of a time. It, it was when I started having to count the number of storm fins I was taking off. off. That, that's not, when I started not weeping. Yeah, it was like, oh, <laughs> oh, these are like three? six, six <laughs> wounds each. Yeah, you want to start? Yeah, it, it was. Oh, there was bits of storm fiend everywhere. Um, but then, ironically, because we were swinging so well here. We thought over here, I'll be cocky, and I swung half my attacks at said rat and half my attacks at other said rat. And Fury, out of a potential goodness knows how many wounds, caused one. One wound. Geotech wipes out half a unit of, of Storm Fiends. Fury manages to cause one wound. And if that isn't kind of the whole demonstration of what Gargans can be sometimes, I don't know what is. Um, Burgon, he'd released his arcane bolt. He got a good more three mortal wounds off. He'd wailed in on them as well, which as you can see, nine has become one. Um, there was a chance 
of like obviously me failing my battle tactic if everything had gone to plan or even better than this i really originally thought there's no way i'm going to kill that many storm fiends till Jotek decided going no we can do this that's when i started to think oh we're going to lose the battle tactic here but good old fury uh in managing not to kill a single rat uh, managed to keep us in that the uh, the poor old uh, clan rats were just wiped out through to um impact hits and just they went enough's enough Ben only had one command point left to uh, try and inspire presence anyone, and he, he used it on the on the storm fiend, fiend, not fiends. Um, but pesky clan rats here have stopped me capitalising on the seventh point because the pulse is here now. So I got two points there. I still control that one from when I moved away because it's tag and go. So I've still got one point there. Couldn't get the adjacent one here though, but do score that I have one and I achieve the battle tactic. So giving me six which takes me to 15 play six. And has got to admit, there's not really a lot of rats that I'm worried about left. Sweet. But so, Sweet. but we'll see, we'll see Sweet how Ben- though. Yes, yeah, <laughs> for the win. Um, but we'll, we'll see how uh, Ben's turn three goes. Yeah. Yeah. Things that could have been. Oh. Oh. So, if you remember at the start, I took Merciless Blizzard on one of my little walk engineers. The big 4d6 mortal wounds. <laughs> Love it. Battle tactic was to kill something with a spell. Number five. Can't remember what it's called. Uh, magic, kill someone with magic, we know. So, I had a quick look, because I went second, I picked this little wizard to be able to cast two spells this turn, because I went second in the round. So, start off with Warp Lightning, cast on an eight. Adam very calmly dispels, without breaking a sweat. <laughs> Alright, because he made someone else a wizard, so he had two dispels. I was like, alright, okay. I've got three primal dice, right? Roll my casting value. Four and a one. <laughs> Always a big risk. But battle tactic says go for it. Rolled the first one. It was a good high number. It was like a five. Rolled the next one. It was a little bit lower. It was a three. The last one. Rolled it. It was only a one. I don't know if you sit on the time lapse of me holding up the two little double one dice. That was the primal dice, my casting dice. <laughs> Big explosion from a primal miscast. The poor little guy just explodes, <laughs> splats all over his friend. His friend's like, squeak! And just takes two mortal wounds himself. A giant took a mortal wound or two from the explosion. It was that bad. It was that bad. And Joe Tech, the guy he was aiming for, didn't even take a single wound. He's like, whatevs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that that was all the excitement. The Storm Fiend hit Joe Tech for a couple of wounds, um, and then got squished into the rest of his buddies. So yeah, I still hold this objective because luckily I have my little grinder guy there. Um, but yeah, we uh, that hurt <laughs> me more than Adam, which is the Skaven way. <laughs> but yeah, I only scored two. So it takes it to yeah. eight place to fifteen. Yeah, it's clan rats for the win. Yeah. Do we do we see if you got the priority? Uh, do, we, do we? Yeah. Or do we? Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's like, just see what would have happened. Let's have a look. Nervous squeak. Oh yeah. I'll cut, yeah. And I'll get the double turn. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. Um, Conclusion. Yeah, conclusion. Conclusion. All right. Yeah. Conclusion. <laughs> conclusion time, folks. Well, it's okay. 
sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry. It's all right, it's all right, it's all Squeak. right. Squeak. Squeak, yeah, it's okay. There's definitely a musk of fear that I can smell that's been squirted. Right. Yeah, that's, that was, um, well, what was your favorite rat of the match? Uh, the the guy trying to cast mercy was <laughs> blowing himself up. Yeah, yeah. The it, warlock engineer just going for yeah, it. Yeah, it, it's in the white wine and kind of go bang. And, he and went, it was like ha, <laughs> bang. <laughs> yeah, that could have gone so differently if that hadn't gone bang and dropped Joe Tech. Oh, there was. If he yeah. hadn't gone bang and caused like forty six mortal wounds. Yeah. And not even relying then on a double turn because when the storm fiends up, they did twenty-two wounds on their own. If that had helped, like been helped with, like say, even the warp lightning cannon, say doing another, like I don't know, five, six, anything like that, you know, it would be so so different. Yeah. Um, but then the not getting the double and getting basically triple gate breakered. Yeah. I mean, that's always the risk popping. I did thought you were going to maybe like come down here and isolate one and move through i was but thinking that but when when you had the one either side and yeah. the two in the middle yeah there's a bit of a pincer movement and i was like i don't want to lean heavy one side mm -hmm. because then everything else has got trumped i won't be able to do I see anything. what you mean yeah so like if i sit in the middle uh-huh kill one get uh -huh. the double kill another one i've only got two left yeah, that's that, easy. Then. That's why I charged the deceiver. Okay. Just to hold him there, which I mean, he's still there. Yeah, he, he, he might that, he might have run around a little bit. You, yeah, that's it. Yeah, he would would have yeah just about. Yeah, just I, I wasn't all planning all it, on him getting trolled so quickly. <laughs> yeah, I mean you know flinging him over. Yeah, hitting him to the ground, move. moving him, moving him off. He got a bit dazed, bless him. Yeah. And then, effectively, he charged, got left with one wound, and then just got to yeah. throw a big rock on his head. And yeah, I was hoping you were going to miss with a rock so that I could pop the strike first, ah. and then you can Fade scurry away, away, scurry away before fighting. I did and then think just get away. there were going to be tricks, but the rock yeah. kind of put paid to the tricks. Kind of like the mouse yeah. trap went. Yeah, while he was on the floor, he had, he had his head kicked in. And he just picked up a rock and went. Finish him. Done. Finish right, and just what's next? <laughs> yeah, he's like, right. That was easy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's it. I mean, yeah. I yeah. always did like my gate breakers, mm. but now I get to bring four. Oh, it's it's insane. It, it's so much the fun. Fact you, the fact I mean, that you're like rock, 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 yeah. rock. Huh? What? <laughs> yeah. Potentially in some games, if you just move forward and then lob four rocks that are normally hitting on threes by twos, mm. minus three rend and four damage a hit. I mean, and I've leaned into the Gatebreaker tribe so that the fact that I get plus one to hit against command models. So against clan rats, for example, mm. that would be twos by twos, mm. minus three rend, four damage each. That, that's potentially 16 wounds just by going, yeah, I'll throw rocks. Oh, by the way, if I get into combat. <laughs> Blah. Blah. Horrible. Yeah, but as we proved, Sometimes you swing really, really well. Yeah, yeah. Other times yeah. you attack two little rats and cause one wound. Yeah. So I, I definitely was expecting more from the nine that popped up. I was really hoping they could shift one. To be honest, I thought when you went the more warp, warp, uh, what is it? More power, basically two damage off each. Yeah, the shot. warp spark. Yeah, think. the warp spark. Yeah. You did cause twenty two wounds, so that's like I say, any other unit. Yeah. That's hugely devastating. devastating. Yeah. To Joe Tech because he's monstrously tough in mm. the name uh, it's only just over half his wounds which yeah. is still a lot of wounds you know well, obviously yeah, mentally wise mentally wise <laughs> think, I, I was think, thinking you were thinking <laughs> I was like I don't think that's do our thing mu but, yeah. much damage to the monstrously tough one as possible yep. mm -hmm. because then anything else he's like only 35 wounds the warp whitening cannon yeah should have should have dealt with it. yeah <laughs> well um, turn one he caused six mortal wounds to fury just like that he yeah. didn't have to mol uh, yeah. overcharge or anything. He no, just went yeah. bang, six. Thank you very much. Yeah. And then when it mad, maybe a wheel came off while he was turning. I think it was <laughs> kind of like, and it got a bit close, and he just went. Uh -oh. Yeah, it just pointed <laughs> down. It's <was laughs> like fire anyway. <laughs> fire anyway. Yeah, but nine. I mean, when I watch those nine come up there out the ground, I'm like, 
Oh yeah, my word! It felt the board it, quickly. It, it just like oh 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 oh. oh, 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 oh. I was putting like, them down. I was like, and that just because uh, oh man, it's like, I ran wow. out of room. You, yeah, they were huge. <laughs> I only just managed to get all of them in range. That was ridiculous. It, yeah. it, it was so cool. And you know, like I say, I, I did think if they come, up, but I don't know. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. If you'd have taken the double at that point then we'd have been turning around saying, oh, that was obvious, and yeah. we moved through, and it was played for, went for, just today yeah. wasn't that day. Did, did you get a double? I don't think I did, did I? No, because I went, I went first, and I, you gave it to me. Yeah, because I, I didn't want... If, well, I'd, if I'd have brought them up straight away on that first turn... And then got the double, boom, that would have been fantastic. Yeah. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, it didn't know. Well, I could see why you didn't, because I suppose yeah. there was... You didn't, you didn't know where, know the, where pulse the pulse was, was yeah. and you only get to pop that bubble once. So, yeah, yeah I, I saw, I saw, sort of see it, but uh, yeah, that was um, <laughs> brutal, absolutely. Just brutal. looking at the size of the Conrad, it doesn't <laughs> even go above the ankle <laughs> of Jota. <laughs> Jota's like, what? What's Who this? <laughs> Who are you? And why are you here? Why well, I don't understand? What? Hello? Hello? Why are you undoing my shoelaces? Stop it! <laughs> Not funny. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's like sneaky, sneaky clan rats. Um, but yeah, that was that was loads of it. What about the scenario? What do we think of that? That's our new time for playing playing the pulse. I liked it. Uh, it made me feel hesitant in a way of not wanting to come up, but also I didn't feel like I'd fallen behind straight away because I knew I could score Late. six, seven, seven, six yeah. if I needed to. I'm, but, having I, models is... I, I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's it. But yeah, it, it's definitely a kind of, you almost tiptoe onto the objectives the first turn, mm. find out where the pulse is landing, and then go. Yeah. You know, and turns three and four are huge because potentially seven points a turn in yeah. those ones. That, that first one, you just need one objective. It's weird. It's so weird just to go out and ting. Yeah. I mean, he, uh, yeah, that's so strange uh, uh, to go, I score one. Okay. Especially when you've got four. And it's like, you only need like, one. I only need one. And then, and, it's, I, and then it's like, oh, and there's a pulse, and now you can score six. And, now it's like, oh. <laughs> and everyone yeah. just goes, one! Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 yeah, yeah. And, and the adjacent thing and the whole, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. big, big mobile army is going to love this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this was, uh, but yeah, a lot to think about and a lot of. Yeah, really, real good fun. Yeah, I really like that. Really yeah. like that. It was really good. So I can imagine that one at a tournament being like the the pinnacle, like the game where the underdog wins. Yeah, because if they choose to pulse the right way, and yeah. maybe the other armies are a bit of a castle, they're not really that flexible. Yeah. If they land at the wrong side of the pulse yeah. throughout the game before it's even started, or if you're just missing one model off the off the objective, that's it. You need you it. Yeah, that's it. You got to slip, slip one point, slip two, and just then. yeah, and it's it's all gone at that point. Yeah, it's really really strange, isn't it? But yeah, but that was really good fun. Yeah. And well, hopefully you liked it. Hopefully uh, you'll like to enjoy uh, watching more of these. Um, as always, like we say, if you'd like to like, share, comment, you know, patron. Anything you like, mm. make sure you subscribe. Hit the big bell. That's it. Dun, dun, dun. And you get a notification every time we post a video. That's it. Patrons get it early. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. And then, usually, then only 24 hours later, then we'll be live to the world and you'll be able to go again. So, until next time, bye. bye.